Hey guys, so to start, I really, I, I am a big fan of the fact that rom-coms are like slowly being back in the best of ways. I think we went away and now they're back and I love them so much. And so I want to know, Trace, when you're working on a movie that is both a rom-com and also like a story about like connection and these humans actually talking to each other, how did you find the balance between making sure those more comedic moments popped, but still having those more emotional moments working without within the whole story I mean honestly I think it was in the script um and my act my cast they were just great at like elevating the words and um everything just went exactly according to plan if that makes sense um I think that it was uh, a, a story that was grounded um the the characters were very real and then they kind of um had an opportunity to kind of <laughs> go in different directions that one might expect that was the common the comedic element and then I've always been a huge fan of rom-coms so that uh Listen, I get it. <laughs> it was like it. That's the it's I love wrong Uh, but and Eric, I love that this man, we talked for a second briefly about how he is a man who is just like he got a goal and his goal is to get this pot back. It is not like he's not worried about really anything else on the surface. And then it's like obviously there's something deeper that's going on, but on the surface, it's like I want this everything pot. Like I don't care about literally anything else in this situation when you are playing someone who does have that like drive, but there is that simmering like truth that we, we don't initially see from him. Is there a certain approach you have, or is it just kind of playing him for the laughs or that energy when we, as the audience are kind of like, all right, well, something else is up. It's not just about this one thing that he keeps talking about. Well, first of all, I think that this is a rom-com if, after 20 years of marriage, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, so this is like, you never see this, you know? So you always see the rom-com is like when two people find each other and they find them, they're in love and then they're going to live happily ever after. This is the story of the people that lived happily ever after 23 years later and their kid moves out, you know? So this is like, kind of like, you know, where it picks up. And so I, I think that like the, uh, I think that it's a matter of like this guy, ignoring the issues of his marriage uh you know uh so now there's nothing to focus on so this is there's a lot of empty nesters out there their kids leave and they're trying to figure out oh now they have to look at this person again and being like oh yeah uh you're all i have now and i think that you know i don't i think that he kind of he, he doesn't discover that till later where it's kind of kind of like a silliness about him at first, where he's just like, hey, I want to get this thing back. And he's like putting it off on his wife. Like, oh, you're just being crazy. But then it like hits him in the end of like, well, wait a minute. We, 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 you know, there's something up here with uh with this these two people. And then, you know, we 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 don't know if they resolved it or not, but we we hope that they do, you know. So when you know, when it goes on to the uh, you know, ABC sitcom to finish the story. That's what that, that. <laughs> that's what we'll have our answer. <laughs> yeah. They get back together and like that. That's what we'll pick. That's what we'll pick it up at, you know, that he's moving back in. Yeah. And Jace, I love uh, in this movie, uh, the scene where I started just like losing my mind was when uh, she goes to Charlie's house and he is like doing the rom com things of like flirting with her in the kitchen and getting closer to her. Cause I was like, this brazen man that like she is a married woman like he is technically single but she's a married woman when you have like these two characters who are not supposed to be together shouldn't even be like talking to each other like this is that where you got to play a little bit more with those rom-comisms and have the like you know the flirtation that people expect to see but it's also like forbidden and we don't really want it to happen in this case the beauty of the chemistry between uh, Jimmy, James Woke, and Lisa Edelstein is that he just constantly, like from the minute they started like working together, he was just kind of um, pushing her and uh, 
like toying with her and they just had that immediate chemistry where are, are, is something going on is it not going on what are they doing and i love that he was able to um to make us believe that you know is he doing something illicit is he trying to get her to cheat on her husband oh wait now she feels stupid and like he's you know just being silly with her um and i i wanted to really maintain that in the script where uh and in the story where you know they both are interested in the idea of each other and they've always kind of um had that flirtation but at the end of the day neither one of them is going to act on it and the the safety is there and the comfort is there of the original relationship but what it does is it opens Rachel Lisa Edelstein up to kind of remembering those feelings and you know wondering if she is getting enough out of her current relationship and it kind of gives her a little bit more um to you know to take that step and and seek out maybe a different path and we you know I don't know how you uh what you got out of the ending I would like to know <laughs> do you see them do you see Adam and Rachel ending up together or in my hopeless romantic heart yes I would like to see that I would like to see these two have a conversation and I like the little setup too I think it's very nice that uh you know that Charlie and Claire like kind of set them up to like trick them into seeing each other but also I'm like I understand that Adam has work he needs to do and so if Rachel's like you do your work and maybe later I also like that idea but I do the hopeless romantic in me thinks that they're... <laughs> I'm like yeah they, they're fine they talked it out together talked it out there's hope <laughs> he's gonna finally do the work and not take her for granted exactly and, yeah and, and then she'll assess whether that's good enough at this point I love it I mean Eric I have to ask you on the flip of you know Charlie having this suave kind of flirtation with Rachel Adam is so awkward when he gets kind of propositioned by Claire and it is the funniest thing I've ever seen because this man is like nope and like yeah. doesn't know how to interact with this girl very clearly flirting with him and I think you know it's two parts he knows why she's doing it but also like he is a man who does love his wife he just doesn't really know how to talk when you as an actor get to have those like incredibly awkward moments, is that fun for you? Or do you have like this, like weight on your shoulder? Like if this isn't funny, it's not going to work. Well, you know, I think that the, the, the scenario is what makes something funny, not necessarily mm -hmm. being funny. I think it's when people are trying to be funny and that's oftentimes not funny, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I think it was just playing the, 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 the moment of, you know, he already he knows his wife's there and she's being silly and and he's just comfortable in his relationship and he was you know single focus mission is to go get this everything pot and then this you know beautiful young woman is doing this thing so it's kind of like yeah 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 but you know i think he's been so trapped in his comfort zone for so long that you know it's like he doesn't even recognize the the, the real thing that is going on until the end I, I think it is like, you know, until his wife shows up with pizza is when the first time he really was like, wait a minute, something's wrong with this relationship, you know, mm -hmm. and projects the anger onto the, the wife when, and, you know, and so I think that's, I think that's why that, that happened like that, you know, you, and then you don't really, and then he kind of realizes that, you know, when he's, you know, she's asking about therapy and he says, you know, it, 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 it would help them, meaning like, I don't think it would help us. Mm -hmm. as if as if nothing can help their relationship so it's kind of like stuck in a hopeless loop of uh marriage and so you know and i think all that is conveyed conve conveyed just by like how he just was kind of like through the whole movie not really taking the hint you know like uh she's saying you know go hang out with her like you know like he's just like ah what do you you know not really recognizing again that his wife is like a, uh, a a human being that needs love and affection and wants to feel sexy and wants to feel mm -hmm. beautiful and all you know all this so, so it's like I think it's like a great story and a message for a lot of people who've been married a long time like hey 
you know, take care of your relationship, you know? I think that's like the message of it. And you don't see that till the end. And I think that's why it doesn't matter if they get back together or not. The message is work on your relationship. Don't just let it go by the wayside because anything can happen. Yeah, I completely agree. But um, I love the movie a lot. And I, I watch a lot of these at film festivals and I instantly was like, Oh, I want to make my friends watch this. I like it a lot. I think it's very fun. Um, and thank you guys so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate it. Yeah. And another thing too, I know we got to go, but I just want to say this too, is like, I think it's a story that for people of any age, you know, told, I think it's like a message for anyone, but it's told through the eyes and, uh, and, and voice of people who are not under 40, you know? And so I think that that's what was like uh, the beauty of the filmmaking too, is that uh, this message was conveyed and, and it's a message for anyone in any type of relationship. Yeah, I 100% agree.